Welcome to our Mob Jazz podcast. This is Melvin. Just a quick note to say that if you're kindly listening to this conversation, you're not kindly on our subscriber feed and will only be hearing the first part of this episode. In order to hear the full episode, you'll need to subscribe to our Patreon where you'll find full episodes of the Mob Jazz podcast and other subscriber-only content. The Mob Jazz podcast is made possible purely through the support of our patrons. So if you like what we're doing here, please consider subscribing. Hi hey guys, welcome back to the Mob Jazz podcast. Today we have the most special guest. <coughs> no. A specialist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we've had so far, bro. Did you say it all the time? Mm-hmm. It is. The specialist of guests, Gray. <laughs> We have Celine Kamohanji in the yeah. building. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, because still sing Celine in the music till this day. Oh. Celine, <laughs> <laughs> I need to bring it back, you know. Nah, bring it back. Uh, nah, let me tell you. Whenever I see you, that song plays in my head. Period. Mm. Bro, that song used to play in my head before we were even friends, man. Really? But I just <laughs> didn't have like I couldn't just come up to you like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, just sing like Celine <laughs> for a bad days. I just play in my mind. We would have been bad days if you mm. sang that to mm. me. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's going on, guys? I'm with Celine, I think. What's going not on, Celine? Much, not much. Mm-hmm. How are you guys? How was Ooh. your weekend? I was gonna say week, but I'll tell you on Patreon. Me myself. Hey, <laughs> American <laughs> Patreon only. Was it I'm mad Patreon or? Only. It was mad. Nice. Mm. Subscribe. Mm. Yeah, you're a bad boy on Friday. That's <laughs> right, uh, Patreon. Patreon. Uh, Patreon. Patreon. The voice. That was your weekend, bro. Patreon. She swear. <laughs> That's the type of weekend you guys had. <laughs> this weekend was heavy, bro. Uh, then I'll go. <laughs> my shit was so light. Uh, tell us. Tell us. Uh, first of all, I fell sick, man. Sorry. Immediately after our last pod, I fell sick. But Again. You were sick during the last pod. I was getting sick. Mm. I was becoming sick. <laughs> but I thought I could beat it, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Beat you instead. From Wednesday, it has been whooping my ass. Today, I only came to work because I had to get out of the house, man. Um, oh, but yeah. so the only reason you've been working from home is because you're sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you like were working from home. I Remote no. sick. I have a small office, so if one guy gets sick, mm. it's very likely that everyone else is going to get sick, and we can't afford that. So yeah, man, it's been a lot, bro. I hate being sick, man. Eh, bro, what like you look hard in these suits? Thank you, man. That's what I. Mm. I Thank actually you, said, yeah, this is. Thank a you. My shit is not even tough. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro, but eh, it's been, it's been a week. Uh, suffered on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I started to get better, so Friday I went out. Mm. Shit was. That's where you went wrong. Eh? <laughs> you know, I didn't think I was going wrong. I had a dawati as soon as I arrived. <laughs> this is at, uh, do we have a name for? Noki. Noki, yeah. <laughs> at Noki. This is a Noki. That's such a sick name. I agree. Kino. <laughs> oh, Noki. Yeah, I like Noki. I like Noki more. Noki next to, that. we've just been talking about it. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I was going relax. For this guy needs to first load it. it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did you go like? On Ike? <laughs> <laughs> on Ike? On, uh, it's no, it's on it's ice. like no C. No, 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 no Ike. No Ike. No Ike. I don't know. Nah. But I've got it. Wait, yeah. what's Ike. the formula? Because you know I speak like a different kind of... Should I just say something? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Damn, but then like, what if people that know it, like, know Feel what I'm it. saying? No, understand uh-huh. me. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they will. Okay, but like... It sounds like LG. What is that? That's LG. So, yeah, LG. <laughs> yeah, LG. Yeah, LG. What is that? So, so it's a secret language that girls speak here, bro. <laughs> Say swear, bro. Not just girls. They can back bite you in cool your people. face, bro. Say swear. <laughs> <laughs> it's L- so it will be LG. Do you hear it? Or no? no. I had it. I had it. Yeah. I also. What? Like, yeah. Are you first, nah, first, like first, first say a whole sentence. <laughs> Okay, good. I got a trade as a tag at Icon. <laughs> yeah. At Nick at, 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 at Connie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro, they can come back to your face, no, bro. This is the thing. I actually I got the beginning. Then I got lost. Nah, no way. The trick is you have to speak fast. Uh, guys, I am shocked. <laughs> bro, just know. I'm probably back back to you in your <laughs> face, bro. Okay, no, I need the history of what. What's this called? <laughs> this is called LG. 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 How do you spell that? 
I like how you hear L? it. Like LG, like the TV G- company. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why did? Why? Oh when God. did this start? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually so concerned, bro. I don't know. You should be. That sounded you like should gibberish be. to me. These guys have been girls talking really about be us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not girls. How many girls have you met that uh, can speak? To be honest, it's only girls I know that can speak it. From my, from the ori- when I originally learned it, so my sister, when she was in high school, used to speak it with what all her friends. Which Aga Khan. Okay. She used to speak it with all her friends. Um, Does she still speak it? To this day. Oh my gosh, the next time I see him, I'm going to start speaking <laughs> in LG. <laughs> okay, that thing is to pain me, bro. They'd literally be like talking over my head about me, man. Like when I'm <laughs> right there. I had to learn it by force, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, but if she never taught me, bro. Uh, I had to just I learn it. I think I've got the formula, Ruki. Okay. Uh-huh, I just can't formula? speak it, bro. What's I can't speak it. What's the formula? Like, I can hear it. I can't give you the formula. Can, yeah. you, can you do us on Patreon? No, okay, off I camera, you're going to us. Teach you. I can teach you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just because I, I am like, shocked. I think I know what the formula is supposed to be, but, um, yeah, I don't know. How did you learn it? I just learned. Hey, through, mm, like, sharp girl. Yeah. Hey. No, I feel, I, like, um. And it works for all English the words. The person that's coming later, <laughs> I taught the person that's coming later. Hey. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I can. <laughs> wow. We, can, we have a plan. There's no <laughs> man. It's crazy, bro. Bro, I don't know if my weekend can follow that, bro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, about my weekend at least. On Sunday, I went mm. for Patio, which was hosting. Gang, yes. gang. You know the real Patio one. Patio, bro. It was lit. Boom. I saw the snaps, man. Mm. Mm. Where were you? Mm. I'll explain on Patreon. <laughs> It was, it was tough. I like Patio <laughs> Branch, man. Mm-hmm. I like how Patio feels. Yeah, mm. it's a different kind of vibe. Yeah, I like how it, it, it doesn't feel it chaotic. It feels like an actual yeah. Patio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. And it feels more branchy, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was I mean, very it was branchy. Like mm. 7 p.m. that I went to. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Bro, the yeah, word branch like in Uganda is heavily misused. Heavily, eh. bro. <laughs> man, <laughs> heavy. Breakfast and lunch, but... It's at seven, like bro. I'm willing to in bet that, that if you did those things where guys go on the street asking, like, do you know the meaning of this? And mm. ask, do you have meaning of branch? Very few guys know what branch is. Guys either say tree branch or bank branch. Branch is a... Uh, what? <laughs> 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 True. 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 And tree both are, like, spelled the same. No? Mm. Mm-hmm. Awkward. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Apologies. Yeah. Speak like this. Okay. Straight in the middle. Yeah. <coughs> okay, where are we starting? Bruh, firstly and most importantly, Celine hit 100k today on IG. Mm. Uh, hey. Snaps 100,000 followers. Bro, I have IG. 1k. <laughs> so yeah. 90k. That's you know, I, I used to be there though, and I never thought I'd be That's here. times 100. Mm. <laughs> what does it feel like? It feels normal. Mm. Does anything change in your life when you have like 100k? Yeah, an extra link, you know. The price, baby, the oh. price. Hey. Hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> like the economy. Brown old, yeah. Celine is famous as fuck, bro. Why we're on our way oh. here? Stop. Hey. One of the guys Stop. who was carrying shit out of motive <laughs> stopped. And s- meanwhile, me. let me kill out you. Out of where? Out of, you saw they were carrying shit out of motive. Oh, I'm eh? so out mad. You know they were carrying <laughs> shit out of here. And he didn't mm. react. I was like, like, if he reacted, I would have said <coughs> like how he felt. Nah. <laughs> I was at 25. I didn't want to make it awkward. <laughs> okay. That's why you guys took too long. Thanks. No. No, no like, it didn't even take that long. Yeah. We're walking out, and these guys are clearing things. There was an event here. So guys are clearing Shout things. Shout out to ATS. I think they were the ones. Mm. Yeah, he was in ATS uniform. Okay. So, yeah, we're walking out. The guy sees her. He, first of all, I was ahead of her, so I walk past him. He pays me no mind. He sees her, <laughs> steps to the side, bows. Nasty! And says, Pleasure oh to meet God, you. Oh my God, people can actually over this, Did he say your name? A deep bow. Did he say no, your name? Said, yeah, my uh, celeb. My celeb. Say pleasure to meet you, my celeb. You know, I did this ad for Zuka, and like I was like, oh, your favorite local celeb. Because people l- legit come up to me and are like, you're my celeb, my celeb. Oh. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And no, I can my, see. Yeah, that's all you. I have so many friends who are like, you need to introduce us to Celine. Yeah? Stop. I swear. Stop. I said, I said the but name, I said the name. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> we take his, we take his rolling, bro. <laughs> You guys are throwing this phone down. <laughs> it's frustrating. It's like it's rolling. It yeah, but it's I have so editing. many friends who still come up to me and they're like, when are we meeting Celine? That's crazy, guys. We'll meet soon. Hey, hey, I'm 
I'm literally everywhere. Let's be honest. I'm so normal. Just come up to me, say, mm-hmm. "Wagon." Let me. Does it ever get weird. uncomfortable? People just like coming it up to you. It gets uncomfortable if someone like coming up to me. I don't think a lot of people come up to me. Like it's like situations like that, very like passing. Okay, what about just walking into a place and knowing that everyone there knows you? I don't think that though. But then, like people I'm with are like, "Yo, like people actually stare at you." But I don't see it. I don't get really? it. Yeah, in I'm world. like in my own but world. I, I also think it's not like a Ugandan thing. Your yeah. play. What do you mean? Is it? Is What's it? Because I've rarely seen it. Like people walking up to someone and no, like, hey, I'm I'm a fan. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, guys in Uganda aren't like weird. Like people are not going to like hound you and shit. Mm. They're proud. Yeah. Guys are proud. It's a good thing. Proud. It's a good thing. It helps. They will die with their st- but that struckness. But guys and will stare. Yeah, yeah. Guys yeah. will stare yeah, yeah, and guys true. will whisper. And they'll yeah, do that so thing where, like, when you see them staring, they look away. Like they, right? Only do that. Guys with babies. look away. <laughs> <laughs> <With your> babies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like playing with a baby, then the mom looks at you. Oh, <laughs> then you look away. <laughs> no, that's one you have to do, whether you're Uganda or not, bro. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. I just find it kind of strange. Yeah. You grown <laughs> man trying to look at my baby. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> baby. <laughs> like, Dead. <laughs> 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 then the mom looks at you. I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Okay. So I just wanted I have to make sure everyone knows that Selena's a hundred kid. Dead. And that it shows in real life. Thanks guys. Thank you guys all for like the love and support for real. Mm-hmm. Selene, if you found us one, if you found out one of us here doesn't follow you, I you wouldn't be surprised. I feel like, yeah, you, you don't be surprised. Me, eh? Do you feel like who doesn't follow you? Eh? Hmm. Wendy, do you follow Wendy? Wendy has a his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a zero or okay? I can't you follow that race on all three, three accounts. <laughs> All three yeah, accounts. Three, three, accounts. <laughs> <laughs> three AG accounts. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, let's get into it, bro. What 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 do you guys want to discuss today, man? Since no one wants to talk about their weekend. Silly, how was your weekend? It was good. I just think it was a bit long, you know? Mm. How? Yeah. How so? And First of all, like when I does your weekend start? When? Friday. Mm. Friday. But I usually forget because Friday is kind of like a work day as well. Sometimes for me. So when I'm, okay, when I'm like hosting and stuff, I'm not like thinking, oh my God, I'm going to go have fun, you know? Sometimes, yeah, like if like all my girls, like my my homies are in town and like we're all going out, then yeah, but yeah, I usually look at it as like a work day. But I wasn't working. This I wasn't? Friday. No, I wasn't. Mm-mm. We went, yeah, I wasn't working. Mm. It was nice. It was actually nice. I went to... <coughs> uh, Arangat? No, what? that's not even. <laughs> that's not even it. But like, do you know uh, where I'm talking about? It's oh like yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. other mall in like in Zambia. Toshala. Can I say the place? Toshala. 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 <laughs> Toshala. Uh-huh. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah, I, I got that one. I got that one. To click, it, it has nice food. Yeah. Oh my god, Fine it has amazing too. food. Fine yeah. dining. Mm-hmm. But I was at like the. Sell gave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be lost. I wish, <laughs> no, I wish we could just say that real one and when they could like reverse it for us. Yeah, hey. yeah that's true. I wish. Uh huh. Um, but that was dope. Did drinks and then went to the same event. Relax, that I found you at. Relax. <laughs> I'm still lost. <laughs> we'll Oof. get there. You'll, ca- you'll catch up. You'll yeah, catch cool. up. That's that not was good. a place that serves food and drinks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it yeah, also next to? It's nah. also at this other place. The one in Kololo. Mm. Never mind, mm. I got it. It's okay. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, and then that the same event as you. That was lit. It was. It was okay. I'm not gonna lie, because I didn't drink there, and I think like I was coming down, mm. and then I went to Aiko. Ah, Nico, or mm. whatever the heck. Abby has will thank you. For nah, no, I just speak. <laughs> 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 like, honestly, let's just speak. Let's just speak. Uh, we'll confuse everyone. Yeah, um, and that was good. That was good. Like, the music was A1. I think I was just sleepy. Because oh. I, like, went from, like, a high to a low. And then back to, like, high. But then I couldn't jump that anyways. So you left there and went home straight? Yeah. Went home after that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a lot of guys left. I'm all for sleep. I noticed. I left. I was one of the I was one of our last, but I left later than most guys. Yeah. Yeah, and I saw, like, the whole crowd come in and then that same crowd kind of dip. Mm. And I think that same crowd moved. To where? 
That was you guys. No, me, I went home. Really? Home. Yeah. Mad. No, yeah, but everyone kind of moved from there too. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Decent weekend. But it was decent. Decent weekend. Yeah. You had no hosting this weekend. I did. Well, that was you. Friday. Sun- or Sunday you hosted. Sunday, yeah. Saturday. Sunday was a vibe. Saturday, I, oh my gosh, Saturday I had lunch with my friends. That was dope. Mm-hmm. I like, like to do lunches and like mm-hmm. cute little wholesome stuff. And I live for that. No, that was after Friendsgiving. Okay, I don't think I didn't see Friendsgiving, by the <laughs> way. I saw Friendsgiving. I promise, I promise it was it was like a very like girl, girly. I saw, bro, I saw. Event. <laughs> I saw Mark at the table like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mark always kills me, though. And so I'm like, Mark, you look at Mark. <laughs> All the girls around you. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Guys, he, it's, it's not like a girl event. But okay. Yeah. After that saying it was a very girly, girly event. <laughs> 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 no, it's not girly anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, let, me, let, me, let me be brutally honest. Okay. Like, the table sits, like, very few people. Okay. Does that make sense? So it was like, because I wanted it to be, like, very Friendsgiving, like, mm. sit down at the table... It was like very limited, mm. yeah. Did you so cook? also Mark being there? It was, yeah. We all cooked. Well, we all brought. Kind of brought. We all brought our food, and we all believe we cooked our food. So okay, that's, that's all that enough. matters. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you, bro. I'm. I'm not leaving. Who is suspicious? <laughs> hey, suspicious fellow. I don't know. Mm. If I'm him, I'm not leaving. Everyone it's else has cooked, <laughs> and then it's me who has to leave. I'm the only one leaving. Nah. Oh yeah, that's true. No. Yeah, I'd eat. I'd eat. Okay. Mm. But it was a good time. It was great having him there as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nah. Okay. First topic, magic. Let's get into these topics. Did you guys see this Ashake concert in Birmingham? I'm screaming. <laughs> yeah, mm. I did. did, you see, did you I didn't it? see it. I saw like a clip. Yeah? Yeah. I think Mark showed me a clip. I, don't like, I also watched some clips. It looked lit to me. Like, I follow him on Snap. The Snaps looked lit. But now mm. when I went to check the internet to like... See what actually went down, bro. People were complaining, bro. Why? Apparently, the organization was poor, bro. Mm. Organization or his performance? That's <laughs> right. Apparently, that <coughs> someone said that performance was like an 8 out of 10. The organization was a 1 out of 10. Really? I had that like... Eh, I don't know. I just get a song called Organization. <laughs> 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 Every other day, yeah, we'll go. Mm-hmm. but that's the hardest. But fine, speaking of organized, that's the hardest video of this year for me for Afrobeat songs. I knew you were going to come oh and yeah, say something. Like, you know, I haven't yet watched it. As soon as it came out, I said, I know Maj is going to come here and say some shit exactly like this. Okay, wha- as why, soon as why? I watched it, I was like, oh, I know why did you come get that feeling? Like, I know it's you, not an man. argument. This guy is <laughs> <it's coming laughs> coming. Why? Why? I know, why? Why? I know him, because it is, bro. It's a good, it's a good video. Now, okay, now that video was too sick, man. Shout out TG Amori. Shout out Ashake. That video was sick. I like the story. It was like so meaning heavy. My like thing minutes. about is just the slaps, bro. And when they clapped again, yeah. the ear. Let's see that all of them, like all the guys had slaps in their cheeks. Like I slap marks. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just, just the one. All the guys on that table have slap marks. No, th- they have scars. They have those like those tribal marks. scars. No, no, no. They're tribal oh. scars. So oh, that guy yeah. sold the voodoo, bro. <laughs> you had water deep yeah. down to slap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. guy's injured nah, by no, 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 slap. Those are tribal scars, bro. Okay. But that video was so sick, man. From the meaning to the colors to the how short it is and how much different shots they have in there. So much creativity on display, in my opinion. It was hard. A hard video. But anyway, back to his concert. Mm. So apparently, the organization was off, man. Apparently, he came and performed at like 11.30, mm. which is apparently super late for the UK. Mm. Um, there was like a stampede that happened in there. And he just kept performing on top of the stampede. Mad. Um, Did he get cancelled? I mean, they tried, but how can you cancel Mr. Money with the vibe oh. right now? <laughs> 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 was anyone seriously hurt? Anyone die? No, no, no one, no one was, no one died. I didn't, I didn't hear of any deaths, but I saw some snap of like a video <laughs> of one of the ladies who was recording, and then she was kind of like going Dicking underneath. Under. Yeah, it's her phone like the angle damn. just kept getting blacker and blacker and blacker and blacker. Damn, damn, damn. But I don't know. I, I guess she survived. Where exactly <laughs> was it? It was in Birmingham. In the UK, you guys were saying it was like a uni event. Mm. Yeah, Birmingham is. You guys oh, it felt <laughs> like a uni event, and yeah. it wasn't a uni. It event. wasn't a uni okay. event. It was a Ashake. Do you guys have any idea what Ashake tickets go for? No. Hmm. Magic. No, actually, yeah. I have no idea. But you know? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Like, I think in certain countries, you just can't. 
have a bad a concert that poorly organized. No, like you can't pay so much for a concert. Uh, what do you mean? Because like you're paying like not that much for the quote unquote greats. Does that make sense? <coughs> okay, wha- how Just much do you think? How much do you think the, that, that the ticket would be? I don't know, like maybe like forty. Let me see. Yeah. Max forty pounds max. Yeah, it's twenty to one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, one hundred fifty pound euro pound pound euros. These are euros. That's a sign like this, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a e. Yeah, yeah that's euros. Oh, I've been burning up. <laughs> Wait, is that? I think that that's o- that's okay. But now be with all this resale shit, mm. I'm sure that like one guy will just buy all the tickets up and then sell them at like twice the price. Exactly. Mm. I heard that there were Taylor Swift tickets at her last concert. Yeah. Going for like a hundred K. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Like US. US. Yes. For a concert ticket. It needs to be really someone really just said. bought like fifty. And when the entire place was sold out, now they just started reselling. Yeah. And then with but each sale, the price of the remaining ones increases. But 100k for one day. Apparently, that buying that. Apparently, for how many? apparently, that. And this, I don't know. But guys are saying that it's her team that bought all the tickets. Yeah. And it's then like, job, yeah. Because yeah. these resellers have been making hella money off these tickets, right? So the artist can also say, yeah, nah, let me, let me buy Put 100 myself. aside for yeah, me. Let me buy it myself and then we'll resell them. No, I feel you, bro. Like, I had someone complaining about that. Even like Steve Lacey, that's why apparently like his shows were like the prices went so high, man. <laughs> because scalpers bought up bought up all the tickets and like hiked up the prices for these things. Yeah. It must be a real either issue or opportunity. Depends on who you ask. That's, that's it, bro. It. I don't think I want to see an Ashake a Shake concert, bro. You don't want? Mm-hmm. Oh god. Why? First of all, I'm not too pressed about it, man. Okay, obviously. First of all, I already said that I'm over concerts, right? I'm done with concerts, bro. No one can excite me anymore. At least none of his logo go. Relax. Answer. For years, I might come for you. <laughs> I might come. Because yours, I feel like if you did a concert, it would be like indoor and like a performance. Like guys are just dancing and shit. Right? Guys, I want to perform at Coachella. Mm. Yeah, I think Coachella or like like a Californian festival is like the next stage I want to touch. Mm. Fire. Sorry. I see, I what kind of performance? Like, oh, can I come for that? Dancing? Yeah, what else would I be doing? You can never know, man. Can My actually you can, can never, never, never know. Ever, <laughs> ever know. <laughs> <laughs> you can never know. That's just an album on the way. Mm. You but never know. But now, I for him, that studio. guy can dance, bro. He can sing, actually sing. But apparently what he, sound, sound, like he sounded like... Different, uh, not good. Like church vibes. I mean, I yeah, he had a life. That, 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 <laughs> that shit killed. They said he sounds like a church auntie. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, I, I was like, video and I like, cried. And I don't know why a lot of this, I think it's Banner Boy that started that trend of like, okay, he didn't start it, but he definitely popularized it of having like a live band perform the, the music rather than just have a DJ play the song and then like run it back and bring it back. They want like a band playing everything. I think it's been there for yeah, guys it's live music. That. Guys like that's like but Afrobeat well. artists. That's, that's the show. thing. Afrobeat so artists. Afrobeats, yeah, it's, Afrobeats. It's, 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 nah. it's a bit more recent. Yes. But it's also not new. No, Who's I know the concept really is not new. band that Marna Boy used to play with? Or? Here in Kabbalah? No. Oh. They're like... Damn. I know Banner Boy's band is called know. The Outsiders, I think. Yeah, mm. they're not his... I feel like whatever band he plays with, he calls them The Outsiders. No, I think he, no, him, he moves with his band everywhere he goes. Okay. Yeah. Is it they the practice before. No, there's a band that's like a band on their own. I think it might be them, but I don't know. It might not be them also. That, d- so. that does what? But man, everyone, no, no. Never, like no all these artists. popular no. band. Sorry. No, I feel like they all. I feel like they've been doing that, bro. It but it me, that's not it my beef. No way. That's, it's, it's so expensive to do that, man. That's not my beef. My beef. My beef with the live performance shit is that it just, at least for me right now, bro, it just does not match up to the actual track. actual music, bro. And it just it pisses me off, like hearing the music that loud, that off, like like tune, that bro. I'm just upset every time I hear that shit, bro. I was upset at. Let me not even get. Let me not dig into these guys because no, Celine is famous, bro. These guys will probably see this shit. No, but say who, say. The Rema shit, I did not like. The actual concert, I didn't like that shit. The Fireboy shit, I. I but I only talk about the sound of the music, okay. compared to the actual album <coughs> and the way that their concerts you look didn't like everywhere the else. Either. But the way their concerts look everywhere else, 
in like these Fireboy arenas. They fair by life. Yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did. He it did, was yeah. Yeah. man, I was getting beaten. Yeah, so. I think at, <laughs> the way their so music sorry. sounds at these arenas. Wait, what? You're getting beaten. Story, baby time yeah. boy. Story, but they robbed man. him. But yeah. he's he still stands. Yeah, he fights we, on. we moved. He even recovered his property. He recovered everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, his pride, his everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. Self respect. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, man. Anyway, the point is. I just feel like the sound here is just not good enough yet, man. Mm. For me to enjoy the live performance. The live performance. I Unless we get actually an arena where like guys can do all that hieroglyphic shit and like fly in cars and like make it a performance, bro. More Absolutely. than you just crooning on stage, bro. But no, no. That, that's all we have right now, man. And that's why I'm that's not going. That's all we have. That's why I'm not going. Because even if you're saying like an indoor concert of that magnitude, I feel like the Lugogo arena is the closest we have to an indoor concert. Like the basketball one. The MTN arena. That's too small again. Exactly. What are we the don't acoustics? have a bigger one, do we? What are the acoustics? That's also another question, bro. It didn't matter about the sound, the size, the acoustics also matter. But I kind of get it, man. Like, I guess with a band, you have control over, like, each instrument. You can bring in just, like, the drums or just, like, guitar, just, mm-hmm. like, keys and do your thing. You have, like, but more you control. you do that. With the DJ? Yeah, you just have to, mm. like... Yeah. You give him, like, like uh, what's it called? I mean, like music is produced. Work. True, true, true. I think when I used to do that, he used to move with this DJ London. And I think I he mean, would he do used something to with like him. That. But this but time no, he, he was, was just, just <laughs> he was like the choir master. What lie, bro? He was, he actually was. He was just the choir master telling like like when they're doing the practice, he was in front making sure that the band sounds like on point, like tapping his foot on the mm, ground like this. I know you can't see, but I'm tapping my foot. All of us unanimously preferred the sound check. The sound check was fire. My do you know who sound check was fire? Mm-hmm. Looks lad. Looks now we saw you on stage. We saw. We saw. <laughs> <laughs> we're <laughs> we're <laughs> live and oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I was just like, Sound that's check. the future, bro. Yeah. And I remembered. Because in Akanzu, right? Been nice. Yeah. Shout we out both looked. Him. That was a Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I assumed so. he's like Muslim or some shit, is it? Is he a Muslim? Oh, is that why he was wearing yeah, it? I, so. I thought he was just lazy. That's comfy. Yeah. Maybe I was just. Hey, <laughs> but some people, I thought like Nigerians, <laughs> like wearing well, yeah. the like Ar- the yeah, what? Arabs were. They are Arabs. I feel like they call them Kansas in, in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> no, but they are there in Saudi Arabia. They're not but called Kansas. Kansas. No, Kansas, Kansas are, are like handmade. It's like it's what not just like that that dress. Okay, but you know Kansas, we got them from the Arabs at the coast. Yeah, it's not exactly Ugandan. Are you joking? But Baganda have like. Like the kanzu, it has to be like handmade mm, and so it like has a, a particular design. A Muganda like kanzu. The yeah, there's a Muganda, but it didn't look like a Muganda kanzu. It just looked, looked like Arab. a kanzu. Yeah. yeah. Bro, no, it looked guys, Nigerian. Did you guys have cultural day in primary school? And secondary, bro. Yeah. I had it in <laughs> uni. Mm. Okay, uni culture day must yeah, have so. Actually, day, yeah, I had culture more, day. In you have more control, I guess, over what you wear. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> for primary, they choose for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your primary schools are smart. <laughs> oh, not that smart, okay. <laughs> but like the lazy parents will just just make their kids wear kanzus because mob tribes wear kanzus. True. I remember my culture day. My mom made me this like back cloth fit. <laughs> Damn. It was like a full brown fit, shorts, eh? <laughs> and like a top that, but like, like a cross top like this. Uh-huh. Didn't that just scratch you? No, it was. It wasn't actual back cloth, mm. just back cloth mm. looking. A back cloth mm. plated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I remember I, I loved the idea. It's like, yo, this is so f- like so creative. That, but walking into school in it, <laughs> bro, it was tough. <laughs> that That's was true. a tough day. Bro. How old were you? I think I was maybe like in P3. Yeah, so he's a young kid. It was kind of tough, bro, but uh, I forget it. After that, I was chilling. And crafts. You guys know like what new crafts feel like. They hard. They are hard. hard, and like a toe thing is always cuts. racing. Yeah. Yeah. it's too hard on your toes. In between yeah. your toes, I remember man. trying to run. It was a tough day. That was a tough. Oh day. my gosh, you've actually like. I wicked a memory. Yeah, yeah, that's actually mad. Hey, crafts were uncomfortable. You know the vibe. What did you do for you? <laughs> what What did you do for your uni culture day? Did I dress up? No. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, like, are you like, what did I do? I probably just dressed up in a jersey. <laughs> you jersey. What's your culture? What is <laughs> that? In a Ugandan jersey. Oh. Mm. Yeah, because I don't really have like Must stuff have been lit to there. wear. Like, hey, yo. Yeah, they're like, oh my God. <laughs> mm. And then also Independence Day, I used to like rock the jersey. Mm. 
Do you guys remember how jerseys were like a romantic gift at some point? Mm. At what point? Yeah, with like your girlfriend's name. Yeah. yeah. Like you wear, like, oh, she like gives you it to wear you. your girlfriend's name and like then you buy her a jersey with like her your name. Your name on it. Oh. Would you wear her name? <coughs> oh, okay. That's kind of cute. He's king hacking that queen. Mm. Like I remember those. That one is cringe. <laughs> cringe, bro. Mm. That one is cringe. cringe. Yeah, yeah. I bought a girl a jersey once, bro. Uh-huh. It had hacking. She eh? didn't stay. Did it have your name? <laughs> he's he's uh, queen. <laughs> her concubine. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did not have her name, bro. Yeah. Have my name or her name. She wasn't branded, bro. I think she was like this bum ass name. Can't, <laughs> can't, even, can't even brand a jersey. Um, they, Is it? Uh, Let's go to David. Do. Uh, did you guys see the concert his fans did for him? His fans. His did fans. A concert yeah, for him. man. So David O's fans, and I guess I assume his team as well, mm-hmm. organize a concert for him without just because him, of his child? just to celebrate him. Mm. And it was mm-hmm. just a bunch of his fans screaming the lyrics to his songs. Wait, like, wait, just wait, imagine wait. that crowd. He wasn't there, bro. That's, of course, he wasn't there. Imagine that entire crowd of bro thousands, and the concert was free. That's crazy. Where In Nigeria? Nigeria. That's and mad. it was all like his like affiliates, like the guys who were signed to him, and like mad. like Mayo Kun and those it? guys. Yeah, they came and did all the songs they have with him, and like did his songs as well. That's crazy. Yeah, man. I guess just to pick him up after yeah. the, the shit that happened with him. It was free. It was free. That's crazy. It was a big bro, big setup like a proper concert. Just guys screaming his lyrics, man. That was mad. beautiful, man. David was huge, you guy. Mm. Yeah, he is. He's huge, but people love him as well. Yeah, man. It's mad. It's mad what yeah, happened. Shout out David Doe, man. Shout out David. Yeah. Yeah. I hope he's fine now, David yeah, Doe. Oh, he's fine. definitely not fine. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think he can. Uh, yeah. That one is tough. That's man. a tough one to take, bro. Yeah. Well, um, done, well done to his team, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Do you have the actual numbers it. of the people who attended? Nah. How check, do you yeah. even record that, bro? If Oh, if it's free. Yeah. Mm. Nah, at least a bad interest account. <coughs> oh, but my throat is dry. Ooh. What did you do? It's dry. No, because of mm. a cough. Silly. Yes, it. What did you do? <laughs> You're shaking, eh? Yeah. Four days like ago. This thing grows on you, though. <coughs> That'd be a Holland juice. That shit is too. <laughs> that shit is too strong. Okay, no, they don't put the number of people here. But M, they say that M. I. Abaga described the concert as the purest expression of love he has seen while describing Davido as a truly kind and deserving soul. Where am I starting a podcast? Remember? M. I. Oh. M. I. Okay, <coughs> panicked. I'm dying and you are joined, behind there. You are joined oh. by another dying, dying guest. Mark. Ambassador. Mark, well, Mark did, you, did you get, my, did you get my, my message that I sent to all the patrons? For topics. Really. I don't really check the messages. But whenever That's you crazy. <laughs> then you check the messages. <laughs> sure. Wow. I thought you were about to ask me, did you catch my, did you get my disease? No, nah, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad Mark is here because now we'll have a, we'll have a patron representative. Standard. Have a lot what? of, a lot of questions for the patrons. I don't. Hey, no, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. <laughs> but you're a guest. Oh. You're a guest today. What should say? Okay, let me okay. pick her up, I guess. Oh, Windek. Windek can get her. Yeah. Your mark sounds too nice, bro. It sounds so hard, bro. bro. Chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> chill. That's not, jam, we're not that bro. type of podcast, bro. <laughs> chill, 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 bro. chill. I was just I was like, nah, I think I should relinquish my post, right. bro. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we've done the David Doe thing. What do you mean by doctors kneeling for the president? Bro. I saw that. What? You saw that the, video. The Twitter vid. Eh? There was this video of... um. A bunch of doctors. I think the president was addressing for one of his addresses. I should have done more. Which research. president? Museveni. Museveni. Mm. Okay. And this one doctor, like their leader, I guess, comes in front. He, they, he actually said he was a uh, chairman of Uganda Medical Association. And basically says everyone coming like he was already standing in front with a bunch of doctors behind him. And he says He's like thanking the president for everything he has done, for his visionary leadership, this, this, that. And he says, in fact, all of you come and kneel down. Come and kneel down and let's thank our president. Come and thank your leader who God gave you. Nah, the headline I'm seeing here says Ugandan doctors kneel and beg Museveni for to six seventh term. And there's a picture (laughs) of them here all like this. 
<laughs> you know you know that meme of the guy who was in a poster. <laughs> I don't know, bro. No, but you say you got a medical association. Oh, and Samuel Oledo is a chairman. Samuel. And his one was jazzing. Mm. Thought that guy looked he looked he looked like nobody more to me. When I first saw the thing I thought it was nobody more. Yeah. Mm. Thoughts and reactions? I mean he applauded Museveni for transforming the country's health sector and improving the welfare of medical practitioners. Uh, I don't know. May, I won't lie. I don't no, keep no. too much tabs on the medical professions and practitioners here. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, bro. <laughs> no, it gets free medi- free medical care for their mm-hmm. citizens, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here, it's you still have to pay, and even you won't you, you probably won't be have any medicine in the public hospitals. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Any from. Anything just Fact. based off of whatever the hell they think True. or feel like prescribing you. Like this one time, mm. I was not in any pain, and like I go to get meds, and like one of them is like pain meds, and I was like, because like I'm a resident in LA, mm. so like there, like they tell you why like you're getting, getting stuff yeah. yeah like so i'm there like grilling the guy i'm like you like what tell you me what me exactly this? the results yeah. mean and what every single drug you're giving me is for that guy lied only for me to get back buying the meds get back home and then I, i'm like and it was like times three yeah so he's giving me like extra those are like the most tubs i had i'm suffering swallowing meds i legit don't need like are i these don't opiates? need opiates no, it was like, um, ibuprofen. Mm. Ibuprofen. Fair enough, fair enough. I no, like but I feel like, okay. The Why am I putting that in my body if I don't need it? You mm. get what I mean? The private hospitals are one thing, but not about the, the government ones, bro. Because like, I feel like that's what these guys are speaking to, right? Mm. I'd assume, right? So I don't know if the private ones, if the public ones are any bit i don't know anyone who goes to a public ones to be honest bro unless it's it's something extreme where only the is referrals Malago would apply. yeah that's, that's public? public but they have a private wing mm. anyway bro listen this just seemed very dick ready to me bro but right. like, it seems a bit dick ready to me a like, bit let me, let me, this let me, let me i feel down. like this guy was begging for money bro of course Same. i didn't want to of say course. it but i've said it yeah. <laughs> what, what what event because was this what what, 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 what event was this Mm. Something like Kololo. Let me see. Oh yeah. Can you tell me? Did they get the uh, the raise they were supposed to get? Remember, I, I think that the doctors were asking doctors for. Doctors or teachers? Wait, I Both. thought they weren't getting paid. There was a point when they weren't. Remember when Thomas I was complaining? They still aren't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they get those? Ma- they get those names. <laughs> I hope but so. Is he, I hope is he so. paid by the gov Ooh. or Thomas? Yeah. He left. <laughs> what? <laughs> he left. When? He left. No, he works for he works for a different entity. Oh, that was a entity. while ago. That, was, that okay. was a while back. I don't know if they got those names. Then maybe I can accept this kneeling shit. But other than <laughs> that, <laughs> I hope they did though. Because no. was it on like live TV, bro? The kneeling thing. Mm. It's been everywhere. I assume the news caught it. No, anyway, no. Nah. I, I, but I the best part of this article money. for me is they called him M78. <laughs> 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 That's a hater news. What do you say by that? What do you say by Vanguard. that? Vanguard. <laughs> M78. That is a hater news. All right. Uh, voice, what topic do you have for us today? I don't remember. I don't have much. Oh, Kanye West, Hitler Jazz. Is that this week? That's what I wrote. Eh? Yeah. Damn. That feels mm. old as hell, bro. Nah, he doubled down. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doubled down. Yeah, he doubled down badly. He went on Alex Jones. Mm. See, Alex I didn't Jones is the guy man. who believes that they put chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. And I'm not saying people didn't naturally have homosexual feelings. I'm not even getting into it, quite frankly. I mean, give me a break. You think I am like, oh, shocked by it, so I'm up here bashing it because I don't like gay people. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? Serious crap! Went on that guy. That's yeah, why I've been frogs. seeing a lot of frog content on frogs. Frogs. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was wondering, I was like, man, have I been watching weird things? Nah, but you are super. There's too many frogs on my team. That guy is a super conspiracy theorist. Bro. In in four words, I think le- it's called. In yeah, that's, his, that's the name of his, his pod. They sued him for that jazz, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what did they say? Hey. He was a shit. So much about Sandy Hooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sandy staged. Hooks was staged. Yeah, that's those are guys who sued him. And one, how much they sued him for? Let me just confirm. It's a here. sick amount, bro. 
Alex six, Jones. Six, 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 Just the guys in the office today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 guys go be, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that guy is the top conspiracy theorist. That's why when I saw Kanye West appearing on there, man. Bro, but Kanye has been posting the wildest things of late. Like I think this week he went on IG and posted something about Elon Musk being half Chinese, bro. Yeah, that was <laughs> like this morning, bro. <laughs> Okay. So that this Elon Musk has to be a half Chinese and Obama half South African <laughs> hybrid. He called him a hybrid. <laughs> Said if you cross a Chinese genius with a South African supermodel, you get Elon. <laughs> Elon. Yeah. Now you guys have to hear this. The headline is Alex Jones six new trial. This is PBS.org. Six new trial after nine hundred and sixty five million dollar verdict in Sandy yeah. Hook lawsuit. Okay. Sixty five mil. Yeah, he's uh, trying to get money. I, bro, that's he, a he billion, he never a had billion that. dollars. He never had a B, bro. That's what I was about to say. This never. Thing. Nearly a billion. Bro. Oh, speaking of lawsuits, Amber had once her lawsuit. Yeah, she wants her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's she appealing. What? Are you serious? <laughs> the trials. <laughs> this is <my> From <laughs> what I saw, the trials like being re. Yeah. Are they going Are to televise real? it again? Most know. likely, most likely. That was hot, 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 hot tea for us. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> for yeah. No, but Kanye is crazy, man. Like, uh, okay, I don't know if he's mad, but right now I honestly yeah. do not see the plot. Usually, like, Did you see what he said. He yes, mm. he said, okay, this is the the, the the snippet I saw. He was talking about. I saw two snippets. I'll start with the, the hot take. He said, um, Hitler. Was not all bad, all bad. Like everyone has redeeming qualities. Apparently, he created the microphone that he speaks through right now. Yeah, the highway, <laughs> about the highway. Mm. So he, I guess, he was trying to say that Hitler had some good. Uh, he had a point. Some, some he had a point. Him. Yeah. He had a point. But that's coming after all this anti-Semitic nonsense that he's been saying. Mm. I call it nonsense. So it just adds on, bro. It just yeah. builds on on the bullshit. Um, it didn't affect me personally, but he shouldn't be saying that about anyone, I think. Man, that's Kanye West. I feel like he shouldn't, ju- he shouldn't, he shouldn't be, be picking on a guy. In general, bro. That what? Oh. Apparently, man. Hey. Apparently, hey. that's what. Hey. Hey. Hitler made Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> and no, Adidas, well, right? Fanta was a Nazi invention. They, apparently, during the World War, Second World War, they cut off, Coca-Cola was cut off in, in uh, Germany, oh, yeah. so they couldn't get ingredients. So they had to make a soda from what they had. And yeah, they I used fa- orange over what? Us, eh? It's okay. true. Fact no, no, no. Oh, I okay, can fact check myself here. You first cook us a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I can fact check myself right we here. We need fact checkers. I'm actually not cooking here. You know, like, Coca-Cola was supplying in the United States. Mm-hmm. And when uh, these guys wanted to also get some people from, from uh, some market from Germany, and since Germany wasn't a good guy with every person, so these guys had to, like, we can't be supplying there. So the Coca-Cola company decided to come up with a new brand to supply in Germany. Mm. And that was Fanta. And mind mm. you, the head of the Coca-Cola company at the time was one of, like, very close to the Nazi party. That's why it was not closed down, bro. Bro. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, I, I, I don't lie here. <laughs> not this. <laughs> <laughs> we have hella participants. <laughs> it's like a classroom. The voices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, apparently, I think he might have created the microphone. You never know. I no, bro. Know that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Adolf and okay. even Volkswagen at, I know the, at that, that time like the, was a the very the, heavy yeah. Nazi yeah. brand, bro. Are you guys bro. being serious? German, yeah. Well, German I know that's like, don't about Adolf. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, Germany is, is a big, like, manufacturing company, bro. I mean, country. Country, country, country. Yeah. So... Obviously, the period when the Nazis were in charge of Germany, they were still making shit. Yeah, so a yeah, bunch yeah, of yeah, shit true, is true, made true, there, bro. bro. But um, a lot of guys were Nazi sympathizers, man. I heard about over, over Ford. Yeah, Ford was Ford was no Ford of Henry the cars. Ford. Henry Ford, Ford. Henry Ford. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Tom Ford though. But that's besides the point, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like not, I feel like Kanye should just not be doing interviews right now, bro. Like he just needs to. Relax. Chill for a bit. Just let let it come he down. Has, a bit before like, what is his end game does right now, man? He does, but he doesn't listen. I'm sure I don't I, think he does, what's man. What's that line that he said? Um, I don't need a manager because I can't be managed. That was a while back. Yeah, but he meant it. <laughs> <laughs> he meant that but shit, I really don't know that what his end game true. is right now. I feel like he's on his own right now. I read somewhere that that guy travels around right now without any security. He goes to like restaurants in LA and walks on the streets without any security. No Bro, no did way. you see? Did there you see the, the photographs of him in like a soul kitchen? The street thing called Chris Paul. Chris Paul. 
The what? Yeah, bro. <laughs> the what? He dragged Chris Paul into the shit. Did you see that? Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I caught this guy with my wife. <laughs> Chris Paul <laughs> left caught the hardest I mean, strain in the world. She's single. No, for be, when he was Before. still his wife. Bro. But for him, he's with his yeah. wife. Chris Paul has a wife. And a family, bro. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but true. I guess he was. He kept saying, I, I saw an, another clip from that same interview where he was calling Chris out. Uh, Kim, he was saying like she should come back to him, come back to Christ, <laughs> or at least get married to someone like Tom Brady, someone special. <laughs> 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 yeah. Don't let the devil use you. <laughs> come back to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady. I mean, he <laughs> didn't lie, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, Tom Brady is not trying to be married right now, bro. Tom Brady is married. That guy broke up with his wife, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't there like a whole? That guy divorced his wife. He's married to that game. Yeah, yeah. Right Tom now. Brady. Yeah. His divorce was finalized NFL. like last yeah. month. Yeah. He, he retired yeah. and, and came, came back. Did he retire and then come back? I was about to say. I'm done. Oh no, I don't want to be on the phone. <laughs> 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 now, nah, I just saw a tweet today saying Tom Brady is three in one since he got his divorce. So, <laughs> 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 you guys be counting. Let's <laughs> <laughs> so count here. Yeah, since you got divorced, bro, you've been winning a bit more often. <laughs> uh, That's wild, though. Yeah, so, listen, bro. Release Kanye West, honestly. Man, I don't, I don't see it right now. Me, the way I look at it right now, his views and his comments do not affect me personally. Hey, How so? Trevor. Be careful. We have Lex Friedman interview. If you watch Oops. Oh, it works, oh. just hold it. But yeah, it, it's sort of like Lex Friedman uh, sort of like went through this with Kanye West. It's just the, the way he's saying it is wrong. And you saw that interview with the Breakfast Club with the now the YouTube Music CEO and they asked him, why do you keep promoting artists? That proposed things like uh, fuck this bitch, kill these niggas, this <laughs> stuff. And this guy basically said, "I have kids to feed. I have to make money because this company is profit over black violence." Yeah. So Kanye West is not wrong for saying it. It's just the way he has phrased it. But does Kanye really is promote is black violence in his song? No, 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 no. Is his discography has changed? Boss. I notice it. His discography has changed to be against that. <laughs> and his companies have a responsibility, and they're avoiding it. But uh, it's true that it's not anti-Semitic. Just most of these companies are populated by people from that sort of like. I don't even call it background. race, background. <laughs> but <laughs> it says that what he's saying is right. How he's saying it is problematic. Yeah. And, and with Lex Friedman, they went through that. Because these companies are making money by promoting these artists and giving them the resources to go global. You must see in Uganda. But that's <laughs> no, <laughs> 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 me, 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 I saw Ekon talking about it. He was like, if you, do not, if you do not agree with him and prove him wrong, but if you cut out his tongue, you're not proving him wrong. Listen, bro, I promise blessing we wouldn't talk about um, anti-Semitism until we were, until we were ready. So let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's, give it, let's hold on, bro, with that. Because last time <laughs> we all came and were like, me, man, Kanye is right. Me. Blessing was like, it didn't affect me. relax. <laughs> it didn't affect me. I'm just watching right now. Like, I'm an yeah. observer, but I do not get it as an observer. Like, he, uh, to me, as is his offside, mm. but uh, it didn't uh, affect me, bro. Me, I think it is shut the fuck up, bro. Or like being anti-Semitic. No, I just want it to be an, I want it to be an informed position. Cause like he said, he ju- he watched the two clips from Alex Jones. I can't want us to watch that Alex Jones interview. I know what that guy said, and I'm not watching a Kanye interview, you guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired, bro. No, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know how much <laughs> Give me a no break. Ask me next year, you guys. Eh? Yeah, and that's a st- that's what I don't like. Mhm. Mhm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. Okay. What's the last thing we're discussing? Did you copy? Hold on. Before we go, let's just go back to that Chris Paul thing, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's some hating ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's some hating ass shit. Let and Kanye you, does that, bro. I'm sure that guy was in his bed sleeping. He did nothing <laughs> wrong, bro. <laughs> Kanye held it in <laughs> as I go until the last <laughs> moment where no one's even thinking about it anymore. And like I said, by the way, I caught I caught this guy with my wife. That's it. <laughs> Not, it was one line. What? <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. It's as soon as you tweeted that shit, the guy was banned from Twitter. <laughs> it was like I gave him a hint and said, "Bruh, you've done too much for banning you." The guy. Said, by the way, I caught this guy with my wife. Bye. 
That's misbehavior, bro. That's misbehavior. Yo. Okay. Uh, the memes that came out with that thing were fine. Nah, he said he took, they took his only ring. The only ring he ever had. That's shit, bro. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're talking about DJ Kapi. DJ Kapi. Okay, this one is not that serious. This is like a palate cleanser right now. But have you guys seen that DJ Kapi is dating now? Do you even know DJ Kapi? Who is DJ Kapi, bro? Only one of the most. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm about to get my Instagram. Only one of the most followed <laughs> African <laughs> girls. <laughs> no, but like, I feel like calling uh, her Femi Otodola's daughter is a, doing a disservice to her. She's like a, yeah. a popping DJ. Mm-hmm. She had like a, do, uh, not a documentary, but like a series that was on... DSTV a few uh, like a, y- a few years back mm. called Capi Takes Africa and she went to like every African country doing shows and stuff. She's mm. like she lives in the UK. She's based in the UK, and her sister is dating Mr. Easy Owas. They're doing the podcast the together. Fiance. Is, bro. Fiance. They're soon to be married. Mm. So she's like her own you person. Proposed. Man. Yeah. Okay, you guys are going, man. Shout out Easy. But bro, those guys have been together for a while, bro. I used to think I had a chance with him until they got swear. together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Look at my going you, on you, his you. phone. Look at that. your text, bro. As your text man. just came <laughs> in. <bro. laughs> yeah, man. Uh, no, but, but yeah. You're saying? saying? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> finish, finish your thought. No, yeah. no, I was uh, gonna say how you guys are saying. And, and I'm just gonna continue the story. Mm. So now she's dating Ryan Taylor, mm. who is a popular. YouTuber from the UK, I have to say, is white. Mm. Um, hey, but he does. Hey, I have yeah, to, I have to, to give you a clear, picture, white, <laughs> bro, a clear picture, bro. But it's not just white. White black bro. guy is called Ryan Taylor. That guy is. <laughs> yeah. Those are two white names. That guy is two super white, white names, bro. bro. That guy is like not like the white that you'd expect a billionaire's daughter to be doing. Like white, like tatted, like BMX riding, That's not like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, honestly, bro, stays honestly, bro. But from the UK. So a bit hood. Mm. No, but I really like those two characters, man. Uh-huh. And when I found out they were dating yesterday, I was like, wow. I also like found out today. Yesterday. today? Mm. No, I heard something about her dating someone, but like, I wasn't sure. Okay. Nah, it, it was, for me, it really blew my brain because I've been watching Ryan Taylor since, it's not that long ago. He had like a vlog where he, 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 he had Banner Boy on. Oh, mad. And... He had Banner Boy at the crib and they were like drifting bro, cars. That guy does like crazy everything content. Everything Jesse knows, eh? It's Banner Boy related. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Banner Boy <laughs> at Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> he puts me on. He puts me on. I can't believe. I have to become clean. But yeah, that's how, that's how I know Ryan Taylor. So like when I saw that video, I was like, who the hell is this guy? So I went back and started watching like all oh, Ryan Taylor videos, oh, like catching up from back then to... This guy is crazy, bro. Like he gets like like kiddie cars and like sees how far he can take them he soups them out and like drifts and in malls and does like crazy stunts he was banned from the o2 like he's a mad he's a mad man he's banned yeah he was banned from the o2 what did he do so the o2 has the way it's shaped if you can imagine this as the arena it has like arches like this that go on either side so this guy tried to ride his bike on the arches (laughs) like this (laughs) And, and they, they caught him and banned him. It went viral, but they banned him. And then he was allowed back was when Banner was performing at the O2. That's when he was. He made his grand return. It was like a vlog, blah, 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 blah. But um, I was so shocked, man, that that's who Capi chose. Like, How would you get to the gist? So shocked. Because bro. on our group chat, on IG, when this information <laughs> was brought to us, we had an <laughs> argument about who is getting a better deal. That's that's what the argument was. Yeah, about. you were, you did it. Nah, it was a long weekend. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain. I'll I think <laughs> he is. You, you think, think he's, he's getting, getting better? Than better than why, why do you think so? Because, bruh. <laughs> but does that mean they're going to eat the billions? Not necessarily. Who mm. eat them? Are you sure? He has other children. Properly, bro. He's ah. still a billionaire. Honestly, bro. <laughs> they're just dating. They're just dating. Okay, th- this is this is the thing. That chick can expose him to her life. He has never seen. This man demands his own money, bro. But he died in a True. billions, bro. Neither does she. Her dad she does, does billions, she bro. Does. She does. She, she does. does. Okay, maybe he can show her life in Lagos that, that she has that never she seen. Just you know. date a billionaire and just billionaire's daughter. Bro, like oh yeah, billionaire's there's a difference. <laughs> or I think they just went on holiday. They rented out a whole island. Well, oh no, but that was easy. That Mr. Bean is his money, bro. No, that was Mr. Easy. I There's think he did that. that was Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy did not rent out. No, you not guys, me. that nigga. The family. Like, why do you think 
we don't hear like Mr. Easy jams like that now. I know he's doing that empower shit. Oh. I mean. Only more. Eh? That guy's in like a mogul right now. Like he is money. Well, that guy. Yeah. But he's yeah. not a billionaire. I'm sure he's he's getting the bag. But he's not a billionaire. <laughs> but renting out an island. But neither is Capi. Ratchik is a billionaire now. She's not a billionaire. Yeah, she is that's enough. a billionaire's daughter. That's a billionaire's enough. daughter. That's like but Ryan that. has his own cash, man. He has this brand that he sells much on. I forget the name, but like that brand has it's been not making billions, cash. bro. Yeah. No, it's, it's not an, billions. It's enough for him to if buy. If I don't like know about the brand, then I don't think it's a billionaire. Do you think she's getting <laughs> a better deal? Yeah, I think he is getting a better deal. The point oh, here is that no, billionaires, like billionaires. There's no life he can show her that she hasn't, hasn't seen. seen. There's nothing like he can show. She has a house and vice versa. That is nah, on the she can't, bro. She can't like change that nigga's that? life. He can't go, go to Mars no. right now. Oh, hey. What's that one country? <laughs> bro, there's places. There's places that are only accessible. What does she have? Apartment in Monaco. Anyway, that nigga does not have an apartment in that Monaco. Are you seeing? She was watching the race <laughs> from her apartment, like as in her okay, apartment I saw is her in the Monaco. track. Was that uh, her apartment? That's her family's apartment. Yeah, yeah shout bro, shout just no <laughs> billionaire. But that's her dad's apartment. <laughs> just no billionaire kids live billionaire lives. She was your mm. thesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, he, he will learn. <laughs> so let me ask you guys don't think Ryan and can take himself to Monaco. As the <laughs> he can't, he can't live Ryan. there. He can't live exactly. there. Exactly. The, the question was, was no, who so is getting the better deal? Can be. She, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah. No, bro. Ah. Anyway, maybe, 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 but <laughs> <laughs> you guys are equating her dad's money to her. Yes. She's a billionaire kid, though, bro. Yeah. She never has to work, bro. access, like... But I feel Ryan like she's made her own it. money. <laughs> but <laughs> through her. <laughs> I think <laughs> who she is has put her where she's at. Not has put her where she is. But she yeah, it helps. Of work, yeah. But yeah, it definitely helps. It definitely she helped. wasn't a new name. Or at least she had a story when she... I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you completely. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to tell this guy. Shout out to them. Like That's a couple I'm happy to see. I hope they like... Survive. They're cute, they're cute. I saw a video Survive, on snap. <laughs> what are they surviving? It's a cold world, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's winter in Europe right now. Yo, Very my thoughts cold are outside. Are. I don't know if they're in Europe, you know. Where are they? I don't know. I saw them they swimming They could be in South Africa outside. right now. <laughs> man, those guys, Ooh, actually, you can't pool. keep up with them, man. Mm. Fully clothed. In hey. a pool? Yeah, they just jumped in. Actually, They jumped in fully clothed. Be, yeah, they're it so might still cute. be up. They're so cute. That's and then funny. she's like, funny, yeah, I don't know cute. what I'm doing. Ryan. Jumping like, into a pool fully yeah, clothed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's some billionaire lifestyle right there, you guy. That's billionaire's nice, daughter. No. But Ryan but is hoping, bro. If I dated a billionaire's daughter, <laughs> what would you do? I would blast. It's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even hiding it. Bro. What if the billionaire cut his daughter off? It's cow. You do know it. <laughs> it's so funny how guys just lie when there's more people in the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You just these two no, guys. Like, you think cute Let me tell you, these two guys. <laughs> Who are you asking? These two guys would never <laughs> blast a billionaire's daughter's dames. The two of you would not blast a billionaire's daughter's. That's what I'm asking him, bro. Yeah. Like these guys would be. They feel so like. Proud, eh? I don't even know if it's I pride, like bro. I think maybe he did this. What's that? But she looks so unamused. Which this looks like I some 90 enemies. day fiance shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> looks, like looks like they're in a hotel in like downtown, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, that way. All the people. And then <laughs> they jump in like with all their clothes. Wow, she put her very. Wow, that's her age. <laughs> no, I think she's just no. I think she's just experiencing like wh- white boy love, man. It must be nice, bro. That nigga just has first white no fears. No, 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 no. I think that's no, no, no. I think she might have a type. Yeah, I think so. I, I think, think that's a, type. a fast white boy. Because if you listen to the music she DJs in the UK, it's a bit <laughs> Caucasian. Yeah, uh, spoons, spoons. <laughs> I'm sure her besties are. That chick made jollof on a jet, bro. Uh, she that, made that jello. Nothing, bro. Yeah, but that's not a white. That's not an uns uns song. That's on her album. No, bro. but like if you hear what she DJs. On her sets, mm. she didn't play Jolof on the jet. Okay, at least not in the snaps. Mm. Oh, you meant the song. I'm yeah. here thinking she meant... Yeah. <laughs> she made Jolof She, 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 she cooked right. Jolof. Oh, on like on the jet. Yes. I did that I was like, wait, what? She probably did. That's how she got the idea. That's how she got the idea. <laughs> <That's how she laughs> <got> the idea. <laughs> no, I think she got the idea. Like, you know, Jolof, like you can eat Jolof on the jet. Yeah, yeah. If you're Even rich, if it's yeah. not a pee. 
That's right, I never no, did. I think there's a flight like from the UK yeah, and they the serve jollof. Hmm. That's right, I never yeah. did. Ah, uh, there we go. Mm. It, I was talking about Emirates. Mm. Okay, it's not relax. Is jollof? Jollof. Is it different? Different shit. like that? It's rice that's made in a particular. It's so nice. Have yeah. you guys had some? How many guys? Some J rice. Like pilau. Yeah. Have you had good J rice? Uh, so jollof. Jollof is pilau with bread. Like Niger- a Nigerian made for me. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah the rice his mom makes for you. What jello yes. have you eaten? Yes, a Senegalese thing. All the guys really have seen with you. Senegalese! <laughs> 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 you better cook with some J <laughs> <laughs> rice. <laughs> <laughs> the one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yeah, rice with fish. Yeah. No, but it's basically like rice with a bunch of tomatoes, peppers, <laughs> onions. No, I'm, I'm no, there's not saying pepper soup. It's like green peppers, like red peppers, coach yeah. peppers, no, onions. It's not green. Okay, green. It's the red one. Onions, a tomato, red then you peppers. blend them. Then you get that blended thing. Mm. And then you boil the rice in that, basically. Like, bro, that's how we okay, make no, our let rice. me give you a step to step, whatever, on jollof rice. You need about seven spice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Selene, <laughs> <laughs> kill us, finish us. So, to make jollof rice. You start off with parboiled rice, so or like you soak your rice. What? Parboiled rice, like half cooked rice, mm-hmm. yeah. And mm. then you want to blend the scotch bonnet peppers, red bell peppers, onion, garlic, a bit of ginger, and some tomato. And then you want to fry some onions with tomato paste. Get that like you have to cook the tomato paste, which is like one of the first people. Like that's who I learned it from. I used to just throw in tomato paste. But like these guys cook it. Oh, sorry. And mm. then after that, you pour that. Oh, what with you? What with you? I know exactly. <laughs> you pour that mix exactly. and you cook that mix. Like you, it's an actual like task making jollof. Like you first cook the mix until the oil is like to the top. Then you put in your parboiled rice and your stock and some seasonings. Mm. Those guys are exactly that accurate. Said. Yeah. <laughs> hey. okay, you lost me at parboiled rice, man. I had no idea parboiled. what that was. Okay, learn something every day. Mm. I want to keep us on this jet topic. Jello. Did you guys? Did you guys see uh, Pepsi wears my jet yet? It's a documentary. I've, I've seen, seen the trailer. it. I've yeah. seen the on Netflix yeah. when Pepsi they were wears giving out jet. a jet if you have over a million points or something. Yeah, so it's about this like big Pepsi promo from the nineties. Apparently, in the nineties, there was this thing called the Cola Wars. And Pepsi and Coca Cola always trying to outcompete each other, always trying to have like the biggest celebrities. Da, 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 da. So, this one time Pepsi says, let's do this crazy thing where we, now it's popular, but then back then it was new, where guys buy Pepsis and like it comes with like a token. Mm. So, the what number the of tokens that you collect, you get like an item. They even put out like, like a book with all the different items you can get and the number of tokens it gets. Mad. Put out an ad. But at the end of the ad, the last item that they showed was, yeah, a Harrier jet, which is like, just think of like a Top Gun type jet. Like right? a like military, a w- it's a military jet. jet. What? Yeah. Now that's a right? good story. They bought it from the Soviets. Uh, is it? The Harrier jet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. They didn't buy it, but there's a time where like Pepsi was really popular in, I think, Russia. And the Russians were trading military weapons for Pepsi. So Are Pepsi ended up having like <laughs> tanks and jets and oh wait let me learn let me learn that's crazy <laughs> what is it? relax what is it? so these guys give you like an ak and you give them like four bottles of pepsi, of pepsi. <laughs> exactly <laughs> <That's> wild, bro <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, they said the Harrier jet would be seven million tokens, but a token is not like a dollar, right? The token has a figure attached to it. So think of like a can of soda, I guess. So, anyways, that seven million thing, I they didn't mean it seriously, apparently. But there's this one guy, <laughs> <laughs> he probably <laughs> was like, say swear, <laughs> <laughs> if it's seven, if it's seven million, <laughs> just. So the guy did the math. He did like he figured everything out. He saw how many Pepsi you have to buy. He saw like how many wells you have to rent to get all the Pepsi's there. This is that, and he took his proposal to some other guy, like some old dude who had money, who he also knew. Um, 
So initially, the old dude jam. It's like, bro, this is too much work. <laughs> and we're not even sure if like they're serious about this, right? So after that, the guy had now given up. And then he saw like the, the like book that had all the items in it, right? In that book, there was no hurry yet. But at the bottom in a fine print, they had said that if you don't want to buy the Pepsis, just pay this much per token. And I think the amount was like, bro, just, just a silly amount, bro. Like zero point something dollars, right? Per token. So the guy calculated with that seven mil. It was $700,000. The Harrier jet cost $32 million. <laughs> so the guy took it back to this old guy and the guy said, say less. <laughs> they wrote a check, sent it to Pepsi and just waited. Pepsi got a check. They were shocked. They said, obviously, we were joking. None of this shit was real. What, what, what? These guys said, yeah, don't tell us that shit. <laughs> Give us our <laughs> jet. <laughs> Give us our jet, bro. Don't so, kill me. listen, the guys eventually meet Pepsi. Should I spoil? Are you guys going to watch it? No. Yeah, Just the guys are not going to watch it. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the guys eventually meet Pepsi. Um, sit down, have a discussion. Pepsi first acts like they aren't taking them seriously, but they know that the offer is pretty clear, bro, in the ad. There's no fine print that says it's a joke. There's, it's a clear offer, right? So, Pepsi offers the guy a million dollars. So, obviously, this guy has no money, bro. He's a, bro, he's a student, literally. So, most guys are always saying, bro, take the aim. This guy will get his 700K, maybe 100K interest. You still get your 200K. You're calm. You didn't spend a dime. He was like, nada. That guy said no, bro. <laughs> he said no to the aim. So, the rest is just them fighting, fighting, fighting. And I know it ends with them losing. So no, these are guys losing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, but yeah. I was gonna be it's, it's so interesting how they got that jet, man. Like the Russian economy had tanked. Oh no, no, no. They didn't have the jet. Pepsi. They didn't have the jet. But let me kill you. At a certain point, Pepsi was the sixth largest military in the world because of those deals with the Russians. Mm. They were trading literally like military equipment for Pepsi's, bro. They had like a whole navy, bro. It insane. included over, the, let me show you what it says here. The new agreement included 17 submarines, a cruiser, 17. A, fra a frigate, I don't even know if they read it like that, and a destroyer. For Pepsi, bro. You mean freight? No, no, no. F R I G A T E. What's, how do you read that? Frigate. What? Freight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> English is my, not my mother tongue. My mother land. No, I. But yo, man, they were the they were the sixth biggest military in the world at a certain point. But and that's F R I G A T E G A. Oh, yeah, no. sure. Are you sure? No, I don't no, know what you're saying. Right. <laughs> and then, but yeah, um, yeah. So that's how they they got so much military equipment, man. Yeah, it's like free gate from the Soviets. That's insane. Let's give him a mic. There's no, uh, the 90s were a crazy time, you guy. Can if you're you a big company in the in the 90s. Do you guys know the difference in the taste of Pepsi and Coke? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> There's a huge difference. You know as mad? Eh? Someone has cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Why no one has Pepsi? <laughs> <bees more. laughs> <laughs> nah, but you can tell. You can tell. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you guys. In this docu, in this docu, before the guys, before they start interviewing anyone in this documentary, they have two cups, and one has Pepsi, one has Coke. But like, you can't tell which is which. So they make the guys test and tell them which one is Pepsi and which one is Coke. You almost How everyone many? was failing. Are you serious? Even the guys who worked for Pepsi. I think they were asking them which one tastes better or something. I feel, I, I feel like the test is distinct. Uh, say less. Maybe in the, in the say bottle. Say less. That's it. We'll in the bottle. It. In, in the, the bottle. bottle. Yes. <laughs> so uh, next no, week. It's the flavor. <laughs> Pepsi Loki tastes like Dr. Pe Dr. Pepper. But like... 
Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. I remember having FOMO for Dr. Pepper. Like like medicine. Medicine. I can't wait to taste the Dr. Oh, Pepper. Like, it like, like, it's real bad. Doc has FOMO for a drink. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dr. Pepper. 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 Dr. Now, I'm about to take us off on a tangent here. Guys, do you know that at one point, uh, people were liking, were preferring Pepsi over Coca-Cola, and Coca-Cola decided to make a new Coca-Cola. They and changed the flavor. Which was better, but people still didn't want to fuck with it, because no, but they were like used the to the other first Coca-Cola. That was the biggest marketing sure? flop yeah. in like, the history of marketing, bro. New Coke. What did it taste like? No one knows, because it they retracted was, it was that shit. People were put on blind test, and it was tasting better. But people wanted the original taste of Coca Cola. So they, yeah. they, it's now back to the. Josie, Josie said that's the cocaine. Yeah. Those guys are when addicts. Was this? Yeah, they did back. That's the cocaine. They have to ban drinks of cocaine because Coca Cola was an alcoholic drink. Because back in the day, Coca Cola was a safe drink. You had to pay for it to drink. Coca Cola. This guy made. Yeah. Let's start from the jump. Yeah, yeah. Let's start from the beginning. So originally, oh, yeah, Coca-Cola it, uh, was uh, was an alcoholic drink because like the cleaning system wasn't so good, so it was safer to drink alcohol than it was to drink water. water. Mm. So a lot of the time, people would be drinking wine and stuff like that. And so originally, Coca was like they use it as medicine and stuff like that. So people would put it in the wine to help them sleep. But then they made alcohol illegal, and so then the guy who started the company made his version a non-alcoholic drink, but it still contained the cocaine. Mm. And so then people are buying it, and it's just like... Lighting them up. Yeah, you know, it became addictive. And so then, I think it was like 20 years ago, like 15 years ago, that's when they made it illegal for them to add cocaine. Bro, that's, that's no, but recent. To be fair, to be, to be fair that 15 is like 2005. <laughs> no, no, no. They still put the coca leaf yeah. inside. Yeah, 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 they still but do. They, they remove the cocaine from the leaf. How how sweet. It's never they have a chemical process for that. But you guys are always wondering what do they do with all that cocaine they remove from it, man? Because it must be on a large <laughs> scale. <laughs> <laughs> Coca, can you imagine all those there's Coca a, leaves there's a Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola executive? There's a big uh, with this eye on me right now. It's Yo, like, shut um, up, shut up. <laughs> so you guys, speaking of cocaine, did you guys see the cocaine bear trailer? I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's based on a true story. Yeah, but it's a true story. Uh, <laughs> Listen, it's a true story. It, yeah, the bear it, got a heart attack, bro. Yeah. It hey. ate the cocaine and got a heart attack. It didn't jump from car to car and bite again. Nah. <laughs> I read the description of that trailer. I died. It uh, says, I think it's like 40 containers of cocaine. <laughs> and yeah. it just goes on like a round. I round it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. that's the first trailer I've watched in like... In like three years, bro. <laughs> I just could not resist. Same. After I saw it, I was like, bro, I just have to see this, bro. Cocaine bear. It's the most interesting thing I've ever seen. Yeah, cocaine bear. Out, out, out soon. Out soon. Nah, yeah. shout, shout out. Uh-huh. <coughs> uh, I'm about to take us on a tangent, you guys. Okay. Celine. Celine. You don't know just what you do to me. Hey. Well, lie, be like, lie. <laughs> you have to give us your hair tips right now. We need some hair, hair tips for the viewers. Ooh. First of all, your hair is super long, I have to say. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Is I that all your it. hair? You know <laughs> the vibes? It is heavy. 100% all my hair. That's Ooh. why it's so impressive. <laughs> How do you reach that? Because you need me, Are I'm trying like to also grow for real? my hair. Okay. Mm. Can I just say it's my hair for other reasons? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? Uh, elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> She bought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's her hair. Okay. That. And then moving on. No, this is extensions. But I mean... Yeah, super long as well. Thanks. Yeah. That's actually it's not is. super long. It's like, okay. Mm. Your standard but, oh, of long is guys, different. Let's talk about hair. Natural hair mm. is a actual full-time job. Fact. Like, it's not... Is it? It's a full-time job. Because I have natural on my head. You get away with leaving the house like that. Hey. Now imagine like me. Uh, like, yeah. Say it, so say it the way you want to say it. <laughs> how do you mean? Let's say, say he gets how away. Let's say he gets away with it. <laughs> 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 it either looks good or it's... Say it with, 
with your no, dad. Yeah, played out, played out. Yeah. It, it looks good. It looks good. good. It looks good. But I feel like if I had my natural hair out, mm, guys would look like at you sideways. I wouldn't like you know. I want to be able to style it in all these different ways, but because you're trying to like protect it and like have it healthy and all these different things, like kind of you're prevented from doing everything like to it, like yeah, because there's heat damage. What's your hair type? <laughs> what would you say my hair type is? I would say you have a hybrid texture that's like 4B4C. Period. What would you say? Yeah, my instant, I don't even know, man. I have a hybrid texture that's like 4B4C. It's like a 4C, yeah. Uh, Melvin, what's what's your hair? It doesn't actually. It doesn't? No. It doesn't look. You know who has even. nice hair? You have nice <laughs> hair. <laughs> it looks a bit harder than the rest. <laughs> Just a bit harder. What's mine? It doesn't. Yours looks very what soft. Mm. Oh, so swear. I think it's like a 4B. 4B is now the thousand meter average the numbers they have. Yes, I think like it's a looser curl. I think so, yeah. Because 4B is different because others are spiral, but 4B is like a zigzag shape. Let me mm. see. I'm on the <laughs> <laughs> What is? Yeah, I think your hair is like a 4B. What's my? The far. <laughs> like a 4 Like a far. Okay. Like Everyone is 4C. Relax, like, what's so mine? <laughs> <laughs> You sure? A lot of, a lot of like. <laughs> this is no doubt. No, a lot of. Four C equals Kawake. That's the closest <laughs> pattern. This There's no four D. <laughs> 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 so I've noticed people from the West tend to have hybrid textures. Like I feel like majority of your hair is four C, but I feel like you have four B tendencies because I'm looking at your hair and I'm looking at his, and. Four C hair is so much more <laughs> dense. Like the hair is packed, it sticks mm. together so much more, and it's harder to see the scalp. Okay, but it's like I feel like you and Celine have a similar hair texture because I've done her hair, and I'm looking at your braids right now. So and let I feel me like ask: you're a hybrid. Do beards also have a hair texture? Of course. Say yeah. swear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His beard. Yeah, same. For D, same. For <laughs> that's like a movie, bro. For D, for D, bro. It's in for D, three D. Okay. Three D, four D. Okay. Nah. Shall we move to Patreon? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Let's, Let's do it. it. Thanks, guys, for Salute. watching. Yeah. So like, like parting words. Share, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. 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 Welcome. Mobsters, the real right. mobsters. <laughs> Wagwan, 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 Wagwan. Uh huh. That's good. Celine, what are we going to start? I had a hot one that Celine, I don't want to start Celine off on. <laughs> Which one? I'm scared. Let's hear it. Celine hasn't just hit 100k by on IG. That's not the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only Celine uh, IG uh-huh. topic here, bro. <laughs> Cel- Celine has an IG. If you'd like to listen to the full conversation, please consider subscribing to the Mob Jazz Podcast Patreon. Once you do, you'll have access to the full conversations as well as subscriber-only content. The Mob Jazz Podcast is made possible through our Patreons. If you like what we're doing here, please consider becoming one.